I see I am the Night Chef. And as part of the Avon International system, you know, we're making, we're just doing some fundraising here. Yeah. Now, obviously, I'm not good enough to do the Ace Baker contest, so I'm going to show you how to make a very nice cake. It's called tea bread. You only need four ingredients. That is flour, self-raising flour, raisins or sultanas, a mug of tea and an egg. So, where do we begin? First, we need scales. Don't worry, you don't have to eat the scales. But, just going to set them up. Because the first thing, in fact, the first thing we need to do is wash our hands. Yes, out doing that thing. Or what have you? Always wash your hands when you're cooking. One very, very nice bowl. Uh -huh. And set the scales. Yes. Aha! So, so now we have our scales, our lovely bag of sultanas, and we've got it set. What we need are 12 ounces, 300, and it's also 340 grams, or 2.0489. 4, 7, 5, 6, E, plus 2, 6, atomic mass unit. Well, okay, I think we need a little bit more, and a more. can help you be a bit more precise. Really there, really there. There we go. And, oh, just a little bit. And the tool can help you get it out so that there's not too many grass. Once we have the 12 ounces, we need a cup of tea. I, not just because, well, it can be pretty thirsty filming an armour. This cup of tea is actually our raison d'etre, or more likely in this case, sultana d'etre. As we make the tea for our raisins. Well, not yourself, obviously, but make a nice. A nice cup of tea. I want to hear a nice strong cup of tea. 
Now we want a nice strong cup of tea. Just like when you're normally making a cup of tea, only. Well, I would say only if you don't add milk, but some people don't add milk, and that's fine. Here to enjoy food, not to judge it. So, raisins, tea. This is one of my old mugs. There it is. Now, give the raisins a nice cup of tea to brew in. Yes. Now, take nothing like a fresh tea towel. I use, now you can use cling film, this would probably be a good thing, but you know, not everyone's good with cling film and I'm not either. So, a fresh tea towel will do quite happily. And now, we leave it overnight and come back tomorrow. And I'll show you the rest of the recipe. Because we need it to sit overnight, I'm not trying to be dramatic. Okay, now it is the next day. And with our nice mix of raisins, well, sultanas in this case, tea, we now, and, well, that's about it really, we now need to add self-raising flour and then an egg. Now, self-raising flour we need Sorry, the scales are a little bit um, kind of mind of their own sometimes. There, so we need so we need 8 ounces, 227 grams, or 1.36579650E plus 26 atomic mass unit of self-raising flour. Now, this bag is less than 8 ounces, so you can just pull that one straight in. Gives us 1.3 on the way. And then we have <laughs> professional. Then we have the more self-raising flour in the form of self-raising flour. And for this, for this trick, we will use a spoon. Nice bit of spoon. Put the spoon in the flour. Get a nice lump out. Have to be a bit more careful though because you can't get flour out as easily as you can with raisins or sultanas. Or you get the picture. Let's be careful. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh. Will I manage it? successfully added the flour. Now, eggs. Or, as it is known, one egg. That's
Actually, no, you don't need to convert. It's not a unit of measurement, it's just a number of egg. In this case, one egg. Now, if perhaps you're not feeling so confident with your egg cracking skills, like me, there is a way of doing it. You could crack it into a cup and then pour the cup into the mix. Or crack it over the cup and break it into the mix like that. Always remember, wash your hands after handling eggs. And so, not the oven, at 150 Celsius for a fan oven, or 160 for a conventional oven, then we need to mix the pots together. Now, once you have the mix, it is time to find a baking tin of which to bake it. A baking tin! And then... And... A liner. Not a Kara liner. This! A baking tin liner! Mmm! Not to be confused with a Carolina or an ocean liner. But now, what we do is put it down in here so that it's all nice and flat and that's what I'm doing. All nice and flat and keep the edges of the tin. Obviously putting the cake mix will help in flattening it out and probably help in making the cake. So why don't we do that? Because that is the next step. Once you've got it all flattened in there, you put in the cake mix. Oh, this is good. Pink. And so... No. Oh, you're excited too, are you, Gus? It's my cat. My cat, Gus. <laughs> yes. I do cake. I know that we've got a good little, yeah, got a good amount of cake mix in here. And so, we have. A very nice cake. And I do say to myself, now, get another little thing here. Now oh, that was a spoon. <laughs> okay, the spoons. <laughs> I'm making those kind of jokes. For all the entertainment. You have no concept of entertainment before this point. See, I am. Um, Though, I am very well qualified at being an idiot. And so, we might as well get a little bit of and try and even it out a bit. Okay, 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 that's nice and even. Obviously, it'll rise when cooking. And when... Up to 
on Kosha. Now, Now, you should, okay, so, now the oven is up to temperature, you should always be careful, thing is, I might be in theatrical armour, but you should always be careful around the oven, because these are really hot. Now, We wait. We wait for one hour. And 15 minutes. Or, if you prefer, 75 minutes. Now, same here, if you can. Yes, you can see the cookie timer. And so, I'll be back when it's done. Okay, and so, now the kick is ready. Or is it? I don't remember. Keep on good position. Now, your oven gloves. Very important. Now, we have a nice stable surface and a skewer. Because how do we know that the cake is done? Well, we put the skewer in and it comes out clear. As we see, it is clear. And then, what shall we do? We have ourselves a great tea bread. Well, let us now take it from the paper and place it on a nice wire tray to cool. Now, let it cool down and then you can enjoy it with whatever you like really. You can put butter on it, eat it plain, I mean peanut butter perhaps, jam if that's your jam. But I'm hopefully going to wish you all a very good night. I just want to say, however you prefer to enjoy your tea bread, it is lovely having you here.